Now we're looking at engulfing patterns. This is a really important pattern. Uh, most people use this pattern and most people are familiar with it, but once again, let's just give a brief overview. The reason why we're talking about engulfing patterns is because there is a high probability that the trend will continue in the direction of the engulfing bar for the next two to five bars. So this is why it's such a great pattern to uh, implement. Uh, you, many times you'll see uh, an engulfing pattern on a five minute time frame and other times you'll see it on a monthly. It doesn't matter. Uh, there's a real high probability that the trend will continue in the direction of the engulfing bar or the second bar in that two bar pattern for the next two to five bars. So if you're looking at daily bars, it'll be for the next two to five days. If you're looking at hourly bars, it'll be for the next two to five hours. Now here's an example of what we mean by bullish engulfing patterns. This is the way we use them in specialist trading. We're not concerned, here are the two bars here, and the second bars range from open to close totally engulfs the previous bars range from open to close, which is the opposite. So in other words, you need kind of a reversal. You need a downward or dark body totally engulfed by an upward or light body. But we're not concerned with engulfing the range, in other words, the high and the low. We are only concerned with the range from open to close engulfing the downward range from open to close. Okay, so that's all we're concerned about in a standard engulfing pattern, bullish engulfing pattern. Why? Because this is giving us a high probability that we're going to be heading up for the next two to five bars, okay, regardless of the time frame. And the same thing works if we're looking at a bearish engulfing pattern, which is just basically a negative day engulfing a positive day, the prior day, where we're looking at the range, the open, to downward close, totally engulfing the previous day's open to upward close. But the range, remember, not the entire range from high to low. We're not concerned with the wicks or the candlesticks. We're only concerned with the bodies, the bodies of the candlesticks. Okay? If we have this bearish engulfing pattern, there's a high probability that the trend will, will go down within the next two to five bars, regardless of the time frame. Okay? Now that's your standard, standard basic bullish and bearish engulfing patterns. And remember, we said there's a real high probability that the trend will continue. Here's an example going back to an older chart of the British pound. We see here that we have a bullish engulfing pattern. And look what happens. In the next five bars, we go up until we have a bearish engulfing pattern. And then look what happens. For the next three bars, we go down. And then we have a series of bullish engulfing patterns next to each other. So guess what happens? We go up for the next week and so. And so you see how strong this pattern is and how it can really help us in finding out what the direction of the trend is. Now this still works in, in a different time frame. Here's a Canadian dollar on hourly time frame. Here's a bearish engulfing pattern. Guess what happens? The next three bars are lower. Here's another series of bullish engulfing patterns and we continue higher for the next roughly about 10 bars until we finally get to a bearish engulfing pattern again and then we head lower. So do you see, even though this isn't you know, guaranteed, this is not going to work 100% of the time, there's a very high probability in using these engulfing patterns. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what we're going to talk about is heightening the probabilities for success with the engulfing patterns. This is our proprietary technique, which we employ at Special Trading. It's called the engulfing pattern plus one. All right, so what exactly is this? Well, we incorporate the standard bullish engulfing pattern. As you can see here, this is your standard bullish engulfing pattern. We have an upward day from open to close, totally engulfing a downward day from open to close. So that's your standard bullish engulfing pattern plus one. So we are also engulfing the range from open to close of one more bar. All right. So you see here we have the standard bullish engulfing plus one. Now, as the former rules state, we're not concerned with engulfing the range from the high to low. So the same rules apply. We're only concerned with engulfing a body from open to close range. All right. So even though we did not engulf the entire high of this particular day, it does not matter. We only want to engulf the movement from open to close. Another thing to remember is that it does not matter if this is an up day or a down day. Now, in this particular example, it was an up day. It doesn't matter. This could just as easily have been a down body. All right? It does not matter, a dark body. And then lastly, the more engulfing patterns you have, the more plus ones, plus two, plus three, plus even plus eight or plus ten, the higher the probability it will extend in that direction. So we're not just looking for plus one. I will show you examples of bullish engulfing patterns plus eight along the way here. Now, once again, this is a very high probability 
pattern here that you're going to be heading upwards. And the same thing, reference works to the downside. We have our standard bearish engulfing pattern where we have the downward day from open to close totally engulfing the previous day's up day from open to close. All right? But a plus one would mean we engulf one more day. Now here, we're engulfing once again just the open to close range. We are not concerned with engulfing the top or low. This is where most students have difficulty. For some reason, they've been taught that engulfing patterns mean you have to engulf the entire range. We're only concerned with engulfing the open to close range. And then point number two, we're not interested in whether this was an up day or a down day. In this particular instance, we are. In order to have the bearish engulfing pattern, we have to have a downward day engulf an upward day. But the plus one and other plus days after that did not matter. It doesn't matter whether they're up or down. And I'll clarify that by showing you some more examples, okay? So this is our proprietary pattern. This is what we're beginning to cover in, in, in part one of this two-part webinar here, the next one to be happening in uh, February. So this is the one we are talking about today. It's a bullish and bearish engulfing pattern plus one. All right, so let's look at some examples now. We're going to look at some examples going as far back as uh, six months. We'll also go back, uh, you know, maybe a couple of weeks. But we're just going to make sure that uh, you understand this fully. So I'm going to show you a lot and a lot of examples. And then remember, if you have any questions or if something doesn't make sense, just wait till the very end. All right, let's start out by looking at daily bars, okay? I know most people will trade daily bars. So let's look at and see how this transfers over very easily onto daily time frame. This is going back just a couple of months ago in the dollar yen. As we see here looking back, we really didn't have much of a range at the end of November going into uh, the middle part of November. We were kind of ranging from top to bottom, top to bottom, top. But as we realize here, what do we have? We have a bullish engulfing pattern right here. All right, This upward day totally engulfs the previous day, which is downward. But at the same time, if we look at it, we see that we not only engulfed the previous day, but we also engulfed one, two, three other days as well. So this is a bullish engulfing pattern plus three. Right there, the dollar yen, roughly about 80, was telling us there's a high probability we're most likely going to go higher. This was at the middle, the beginning to middle of November. And look what happened. Within the next month, we all see how well the dollar yen went up. This is without the aid of any news, without the aid of being in any chat room, without the aid of trying to decipher any economic reports. This is just listening to the most important thing, which if you've attended my presentations before, I always state that the only thing you should be listening to and following is the chart in front of you. That's the market you're following. Because it really tells you what it wants to do. There's no need to listen to uh, you know, variations on news or be involved in a number of, number of chat rooms or worrying about uh, different indicators or uh, you know, res uh, resistance, support and resistance. Everything re is really right here in front of you. So the market gave us a great clue that there was a high probability of a dollar yen going up higher on a daily time frame. And as we see here, we went up higher right off the bat and then we kind of stalled at these levels. Well, guess what? While we were going sideways, what happened? We had another bullish engulfing pattern plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, and on this little stall here, once we had a nice uh, 300 pip gain, a lot of people could have said, well, it looks like we're topping out. Uh, I read some indicator or some uh, uh, Forex guru was telling me that, uh, you know, we're topping in the dollar yen, we should probably exit or go short. Well, not according to the market. Remember, we only want to listen to the market. And the market was telling us, nope, there's a bullish engulfing pattern here, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is telling us that the market is most likely going higher. And as you can see here, it continued to go higher. This is the, the current chart up until uh, uh, last week. How about the Canadian dollar? Now, we're going back a little bit further here. This is going back towards the end of the summer. As you see here, we had a bearish engulfing pattern. This Downward day totally engulfed the previous day's upward day. But if we notice, we not only engulfed the previous day, we engulfed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this was a bearish engulfing pattern plus eight. This was at the uh, beginning of July going into August. So right there, the market, the Canadian dollar on a daily time frame was giving us a great clue that it wanted to go lower. So if you were thinking about going long, this is where listening to the market really pays off. If you were in some chat room where they said, go long the Canadian dollar, or you subscribe to some news service that said the Canadian dollar looks very good to purchase here, I would kind of sit back and you know, take it with a grain of salt because the most important reference, which is the market itself, was telling me most likely we're going to head lower. And as you can see, look what happened towards the end of the summer going into the fall. 
the canadian dollar went down roughly about five hundred pips.